What is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today is the day, the trip is finally here. If you are new to the channel, let me update you guys with what is going on. We are going on an amazing seven day trip to Europe. We're gonna do two days in Munich, Germany. We're gonna do two days in Disneyland Paris and celebrate the 30th anniversary of Disneyland Paris. And we're going to do two days in Paris to finish up our trip before we head back here to Orlando. It is going to be amazing. I have been waiting for so long for this trip to be here. And today is the day we're heading to Europe. But let me stop talking and let's head to the airport and get this trip started. So I did get some new luggage for this trip. Here is my checked bag and here's my carry-on. There really isn't anything here in the carry-on. This carry-on is strictly for Disneyland Paris merchandise. <laughs> to the airport we are boarding our flight from Orlando to Washington DC you ready for this trip let's do it baby. everyone you remember Pedro he was in my golf video we are now heading to Germany but first we have to make a little little pit stop in Washington DC and see on this flight let's get it so this is Emily's first trip to Europe since she was two so technically it's her first one because she doesn't really remember it Emily how excited are you she's technically she's texting your family right now how excited are you for Europe I'm so excited what's your, I don't what think you it's hit me yet though what are you looking forward to um, everything. Just like seeing all of it. Like, I don't know. On, you have not one, no, one everything. Thing? Literally everything. No, Probably yeah. Disneyland Paris. That's like number one. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have two days in Munich. The first day we're going to be just kind of checking out the city. I'm um, going to hop for a house, check out the local sites. And then the second day we're going to the Neuschweinstein Castle. Uh, which, is, if you all know, is the castle that is in Soren around the world and is the castle that was inspiration for Walt Disney for Disneyland. So we're gonna check that out. Uh, but yeah, we, once again, I'll say it again, we will see you guys when we land in Washington, D.C. We have now arrived in Washington, D.C., about to show our passports in order to board the plane, but we also have to be travel ready, which means you have to show the airline that you are vaccinated in order to travel to Europe. And here we are boarding the plane, and there's Emily sitting by herself. The plane was about seven hours, which wasn't too bad. Everyone slept except for Pedro and I. We stayed up and watched movies and drank some drinks. Now, there is complimentary alcohol on international flights, which was a big bonus. They also serve meals on the plane, so we had like this chicken pasta as well as this really, really good mango sorbet. And then after dinner, I watched about 10 to 15 episodes of The Office, which was literally my favorite TV show of all time. And then in the morning, about an hour before we landed, they served us breakfast, so we had like this little granola bar as well as this yogurt. I'm not a huge fan of yogurt, so I didn't eat the yogurt, but the granola bar wasn't too bad. Well, we are now off the plane here in Munich, Germany, and the first place Emily had to stop was Starbucks. My favorite. Um, but look how cool these are. They have cheesecake. They have cheesecake. I think it's cheesecake. Oh, that's so cool. And uh, the first thing Paige and I bought are these really cool looking... One sip. Everybody knows the rules. Tastes nice. Normal pie. 8-7. They're the cool little bottles. It's so funny how they have all these different, like, not different, but same brands here, but they all look so different. Welcome to Munich, Germany, everyone. The outside of this airport is beautiful, but now we have to take a about an hour train ride to our hotel. Let's get on this train and uh, let's go check out Munich. So we got to our hotel about 9.30 this morning, but unfortunately our room was not ready, so we left our bags, and now we are walking around the city and checking out some of the sites around our hotel. But let me tell you all, Munich, Germany is beautiful. There are so many fun things to do, so many things to see. It is honestly one of the coolest things to see is all the different cars they drive over here in Germany. They have really cool sites like this little... I don't even know what this thing is called, but it's this little cool thing on top of this hill with amazing views of the rest of the city and this park that we went to. And the coolest thing about the park 
is this surfing. These guys are literally surfing in a river here in Munich, Germany. This is in the English gardens uh, literally every day of the year. Every day of the year, no matter how warm, how cold it is, there are people surfing in this water. Today it was 40 degrees, and I know that water had to be freezing cold. Look how cool this is. One of the main things, one of the coolest things to see when you're coming to Munich, Germany. Now, as you can see, all of these surfers do take turns. As you can see, this one is about to fall off, or sometimes they just give up because they've been going on for so long. Um, but yeah, they, they fall off, they swim back, and they you know make their way back to the front, and then the next person hops on immediately. As soon as one person goes down, the next person hops right back on. And obviously, there are some that are a lot better than others. But honestly, uh, for me, I would rather watch this than do it because, I, like I said, I know that water has got to be freezing cold. Well, everyone, we are now all checked in to our hotel here in Munich, Germany. After our about an hour train ride over from the Munich airport, we got here about 9.30. Our room still wasn't ready yet, so we walked around Munich and did some eating and some sightseeing. But now let's get on to our hotel room tour here in Munich. We are staying in the Vivadi Hotel here in Munich, Germany. Over here on the right, once you enter the hotel room, here is the bathroom. As you can see, it is just a shower with two different shower heads. They also give you some soaps, you know, just kind of like every hotel room does. Now, I apologize for the towels. I actually just took a shower since we just checked into the hotel. After landing here this morning here in Munich, flying all night, then going and sightseeing around the city for a little bit, I had to come back and the first thing I had to do was take a shower. But now I'm going to continue with the rest of the room tour. Here you also have a sink with some soap. You have some more, you know, shampoo, body wash, conditioner. You have the toilet over here, toilet paper, tissues, extra toilet paper, a blow dryer, and then across from the bathroom here is a mirror. You can check, you know, your fit before you're going out and checking out Munich. I have my Bayern Munich soccer jersey on. We're actually about to head to a bar to go watch the Bayern Munich soccer game. We were trying to go, we just couldn't find tickets and tickets were also really, really expensive. And now we'll make our way into the main room. I believe it is a king size bed. Obviously Emily is uh, sacked out. I think the jet lag is starting to hit her. Yes, a very spacious room. Over here to the right, you do have a mini fridge. We have some waters in there. Um, over here, they give you some two complimentary glasses, a beer bottle opener. Up here is a safe. Tons of space for storage for, you know, luggage or anything like that. You have a luggage rack right here. Obviously, my luggage right there. Don't worry about that. That will move eventually. And then over here, you have a closet, you know, with some hangers in case you do want to hang up your clothes if you are staying for a long time. We are only going to be here for a day and a half. A little bit weird. I'll update you guys with all that information. And over here are the side tables. So you have a lamp, a little reading light, a charging port, you know, lights, light switches right here for the room. And we also, if you guys are traveling to Europe, make sure to grab these adapters. We bought a bunch from Amazon. I think they're very cheap. We got them like in a four pack. They come in very handy. You have a plug up here, a plug up here, and then two USB plugs right here as well. They come in very handy. And then over here, as I'm charging some of my stuff, phone, watch, camera batteries, there's a little, I don't know, a little seat, you wanna call it? A little, like a cube, a seat, whatever you want. You can use it as a table, like I am. And then over here, across from the bed, is the flat screen TV. And then, like I said, the remote is right there for the TV. And obviously, we probably won't be watching any TV because we probably don't understand anything they are saying. Um, but just in case you wanna watch some TV, you have the option. And over here next to Sleeping Emily, don't worry. I asked her if I could film while she's sleeping, and she was totally fine with it. So I said, okay, got to film the room. got to show you guys where we are staying. Over here is the same thing as the other side of the bed. You have the outlet, the two switches, the lamp, the reading light, and then just a little side table for you to put things on. Then to the left of the bed is a desk. So none of this over here comes with it. <laughs> but you have a QR code in case you need any guest service. You have the phone in case you need to call anyone in the hotel room. You have a lamp, a chair, a trash can. And here is our view from our hotel room. Nothing fancy. We just got a you know a building to look out into Munich, Germany. Uh, but yeah, it's really weird. It's almost like an, like an angled kind of. If you guys can see, if I back up a little bit more, it's almost like an angled window. Pretty cool. Then over here in the corner, not much. Just a couple, couple more outlets, and that is our tiny little room tour here in Munich, Germany at the Vivati Hotels. The rooms here are very simple. As you can tell, not much art decoration. That's literally the only art piece in the room. Besides the TV, if you want to count that as art. Um, but yeah, that's literally the only art piece in the room. Very simple rooms. Also, I forgot to mention, they give you uh, some German gummies um, as a little welcome gift that we're laying on our bed when we, when we checked in. Um, but Emily decided that she was gonna pass out because she was starting to get jet lagged. Um, but now we're gonna go ahead to the bar, have some fun, go check out the Bayern Munich soccer game. 
um, see what the hype is here and see how crazy soccer is over in Europe. Um, then after that, we're going to go to the Hofbrau house, have dinner, drink, and have a good time. And then, you know, just go sightsee and check out some of the fun things in Munich. But it has been a great day so far. I'm chugging through it. I didn't even sleep on the seven-hour flight, so, you know, in a couple hours, it's probably going to hit me pretty bad. But to go back to what I said earlier about we were only here for one and a half days, technically we have a two-day, two-night reservation here at the Vivati Hotel. But tomorrow night, after we come back from Neuschweinstein Castle, we pack up our bags and we do an overnight train from Munich, Germany to Disneyland Paris. So technically we ha we booked two nights here. We will actually not be staying here the two nights. Uh, we booked it because what we want to do is we want to go do the Neuschweinstein Castle tour, come back, have our luggage just in the room, don't have to stress about you know taking it down to the front desk and have them hold it for us. That way we can come back to the room, shower, change, get everything packed, get everything ready, don't stress, and then head to the train station. But enough of me talking about Tomorrow, let's get on with today and let's go have some fun tonight in Munich. I feel like I'm going to hate it in pictures if I don't. This is the behind the scenes of getting pictures done out here. Photographer. All of these people walking around and none of them know they're in the presence of a great Disney influencer. Just kidding. Cam's been recognized here like five times already. He's lying. He's lying. It's always He's German people that doesn't speak English. Alright everyone, we have made it here to downtown Munich here at the clock tower. Uh, the clock tower, if you guys can see all the way, if I zoom in, there are like little, like little figurines or statues or characters or whatever you want to call them. But at every hour they go off and they move. So kind of like the German pavilion in Epcot, those move. Oh, there's Pedro, everyone. There's Pedro. Um, but yeah, like in Epcot in Germany, those ones move, just like the ones here in Munich. All right, everyone, we have made it inside the Hofbrau House, one of the most famous breweries here in Germany. It's going to be a lot of fun. They have an insane amount of beer. The beer is like this cold. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be wild. And this place is jam-packed. And it's going to be a fun night. Stay tuned. And the beer has arrived. This thing is huge. And only 9 euros for this giant beer. I got a Rattler, which is a beer mixed with lemonade. Emily got the Hofbrau House Original. Hannah got a Rattler, and Pedro got a Rattler as well. Give us your, I need one sip. One sip, everybody knows the rules. One sip. One sip. Nine three. That's better than the last spot we were at. Yeah, it's Nine better, it's three. better than August. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Emily's taste test. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. Cheers, everyone. That's amazing. 9.3 out of 10. So good. ourselves an order of some German pretzels. Let's give these a try. Mm. One of the best pretzels I've ever had. Wow. Wow. Alright, I am going to try it. Wow. Good. I wish I had like mustard. You know? Yeah, ask for it, ask for it. It's so good though. Even better the second time. 9.4. 9.4. I promise you guys this is not a this is not a repeat. This is our second time around. One beer done. Two beer done. Three beer done. He is not I done! I don't want to done! I apologize, Pedro is not done. He's 
pretty much done. Anna's done. Stop! <laughs> I had to pee, okay? There's a long line. just finished up at the Hofbrau house and I want to show you all that directly across the street is the Hard Rock Cafe and I remember coming here so many times when I was younger. Alright everyone, how did you guys like Hofbrau house? Emily? 10 out of 10. 10, out of 10. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10? 9.8 because I'm not a rookie. If you score a 10, you'll <laughs> never have anywhere oh else that's better than that. I like that, that logic. I like that Listen, logic. Listen, if you score something a 10, that means you'll never have anything better than that. I mean, it was pretty good. It was that fantastic. Means, yeah. okay, so that apple strudel. 10 out of 10. The pretzels? Mm. That just means that you guys peaked in life. You'll never have a better dining have experience a better apple in life. Strudel. You're right, because I'm in Germany. Where else would have a better apple strudel? Well, you guys heard it here first. It was a uh, 9.8 out of 10 experience here at the Hofbrau House in <laughs> Munich, Germany. <laughs> just completely rookie. ignores Cam the girls. Oh, okay. oh, Cam's oh, Travels. What way are you going to? Cam's Travels. That's oh, his sweet. YouTube. Yeah. He's got like 500k. Oh, sweet. In Munich. Any good bars you need recommendations for? Yeah, we need recommendations. So, uh, have you been to the Hofbräu? We, we, we just, just left. We just, just been there. We okay. just left, yeah. Um, bunch of problem is right now is because COVID's just been uh, some regulations have just been lifted. Yeah, um, uh, this weekend is quite full, and you need yeah. reservations a lot of places. Right. Uh, there's a pub down here which is quite nice. Nice right, to meet you. On. Okay, look at that. Just making friends out here in the streets. Making friends. Well, everyone, we are now back in our hotel room, and that is going to conclude our day here in Munich, Germany, our first day. Uh, we had an amazing day from going to Hofbrau House, checking out some of the local sites, and just walking around the city. It was so much fun. It felt weird being back. I cannot lie. I have not been back here since I was in 8th grade. Here is a picture of me in 8th grade in the Hofbrau House where we were tonight. Crazy that it has been so long since I've been back, but I loved every second of it. And tomorrow, if you guys do not know, we are heading to Neuschweinstein Castle which is the castle that Walt Disney used for inspiration to build Sleeping Beauty Castle in Disneyland. We're so excited to go. We have a full tour. It's literally all day long, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. We're so excited to go, and we're going to get some rest. It has been almost 24, actually it's been over 24 hours since I've gotten some sleep. Didn't, barely slept the whole flight. I slept about 30 minutes, so I'm not really going to count that. Uh, but yes, we've had a great day. If you guys did enjoy today's video here in Munich, Germany, make sure to give this video a big, big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new here to the channel, and make sure to ring that bell to get notified whenever I post a new video because there are a ton of videos. I mean a ton of videos coming out from this Europe trip from Munich to Disneyland Paris to Paris. There's going to be so many, and I hope you all enjoy them. But remember, if you did, give this video a big, big thumbs up, and we'll see you all at Neuschweinstein Castle. Peace out.